is Rosie Reyes and now we are doing my very first unboxing and bag review of this Chanel bag. If you're new here, I do fitness and fashion videos. So today we are going to review this bag. Okay, so I don't know much about this brand because I'm pretty new with this. But anyway, I asked my friend who sold me this bag to give me some details of this particular um, style. So I'm gonna tell you that in a bit later. So now we are gonna start the unboxing. Okay, so I hope you like my little setup. I have this table and I bought this from uh, Amazon. So it's beige and she told me if I wear this white flat bag, I should wear uh, like light colored clothes because unfortunately the white bag, um, there's like problems with color transfer. If you're wearing the white flat bag, make sure don't wear like dark jeans. Just wear like light beige, white, or anything like light. So you don't have problems with color transfer. But anyway, this is the bag. So I would consider this as my Christmas gift to myself. So this is the box. So oh, there you go. All right. Okay, so we will start the unboxing. So I don't know if I need to use scissors. Okay. I guess we will keep this ribbon with this flower. So, I put this under my Christmas tree and it's full of glitters. So this is the box. It has like glitters on it. Okay, so let's open it. All right, so she packaged it so well. Thank you so much. So there's a sticker there. put this on the side maybe I'll just unbox it in front of you guys here facing you okay oh okay so we have this card again I'm new to this brand so bear with me so it doesn't have anything inside. So she bought this at Nordstrom. Okay, there. And this is the receipt. So there is, there's the receipt. I think, she, yeah, she bought it. When did she buy this one? Oh, 2021. She bought it on September 25th, 2021. Okay, so we have the receipt. So now I'm going to show you this one, the dust bag. And yeah, we're going to need to use scissors to cut this yellow tag. So this is the dust bag. Okay. All right, so. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to show you this tag. Okay, and this is the back. So it's white. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so it's white. The style is uh, 21B. Small classic handbag. Flat bag, white. Okay, we're gonna remove it now. Oh. This is white and as you've noticed, I'm wearing white or off-white. 
So there should be no problems with color transfer if I wear it with this outfit. Okay. So this is the close up. So close up, it still has a plastic here, the plastic covering here. So it's gold. There. Again, I'm new to this brand, so bear with me if I say some like weird stuff. But anyway, yeah, it still has a plastic covering here. So for me, I prefer gold um, hardware instead of um, silver. My first one, the dark beige, will, which I'm gonna review next, is also gold um, hardware. Okay. Oh, and this is still sealed. It's still new. So it matches the barcode here with the barcode here in the receipt. So it's 357-2646-777-266. So we are good. So again, it's sealed. We're gonna cut that later, but for now, I'll keep that there. So we have this paper that we need to remove. is the strap we have this pocket in the back so what I put in my bag my card holder cell phone inhaler because I have asthma and uh, oil control fill and also my keys. So those are the things that I only put in my bag. So I don't need a big bag, I only need a small one. So this one is a small classic flat bag. It's caviar. Oh, I need to get my details that she sent me. So I have my cheat sheet here. <laughs> okay, so she said, Chanel has offered many sizes in classic flat. So mini, Square and rectangular, small, medium, jumbo, and maxi. Hmm, there's so many sizes. The small size is very high demand. It is the most popular uh, size. It is double chain. Double chain. So you could just wear it like this, or you can wear it cross body like this. Okay. Yeah, I'll remove these tags later so it looks better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's double chain, but you can carry it as a crossbody too. The chain will be just little above your waist. Yeah. So it's not that long. Yeah, I'll do some mod shots later. I am only five feet tall. I'm five feet tall, not only five feet tall. So be proud of your height. It's a little above your waist here. So I think it's the most comfortable place, not too low here and not too high. It's very, it's a very good length for me. Um, it's very accessible when you wear it. It is true white. It is true white with no other color undertone. So it is gorgeous with light gold hardware. So a little close up. It's not like the yellow gold, it's light gold. Okay. Also, it has a nice green caviar or not too matte or it's not that shiny. So it's caviar. I would prefer the caviar because it's for me it's more durable than the lambskin. So it's more expensive. I believe it's more expensive than the lambskin, but the durability um, just buy the caviar instead of the lambskin. So that's just my opinion. Okay, so this combination is classic and elegant. It looks great all year long and it's classic. As what it says in the style, 
classic it would never go out of style okay and then therefore it has a microchip or okay so tip for authenticity of chanel bags chanel has discontinued the authenticity card for a few years so that's what she said so the one my friend whom i bought this with she's very she's an expert with uh chanel i believe she has all the colors like all the colors um so therefore it has a microchip or metal plate with unique serial numbers inside instead of the authenticity card okay so i'm going to show you the microchip when we open this bag so she also sent me some specific details and dimensions of the bag so it's color white the it's caviar it's a single shoulder strap with 16 and a half drop or double nine and a half inches drop cc turn lock closure flap so i'm just reading her details shiny light gold tone hardware chain shoulder strap with leather interior is lined in leather with a zipper one open pocket on the back wall so i show you that i will open this and i'll remove this tag in a bit approximate measurements we got nine inches uh, long so long nine inches long 5.5 inches height and 2.5 width maybe i'll get a um tape measure so she said it's nine inches long approximately nine inches long okay and five and a half inches height So this is just an approximate approximately five and a half inches height and two and a half inches width okay okay so yeah it's just like two and a half inches thick or width nine inches long five and a half inches height and two and a half inches thickness or width okay and it's this one is made in france so now i will get my scissors i'm gonna cut the tag now okay but i will still keep this tag and cutting this yellow tag Okay, now we're gonna open the bag. So I'll probably remove this plastic layer on. Like even my other dark beige, it still has the plastic on it, so it's okay. So we're gonna open it. Okay. Okay. This one, I'll keep this. And I will keep this. Okay, so it has a zipper here. Um, I don't know what's the use of this one. I don't actually use it. So the spade, the so when you open a zipper, it's just this one. So I don't know what to put in here. Maybe receipts. Yeah, uh, I think it's useless. So don't put like pens there or anything. Just you know just keep it as is don't use it maybe receipts okay so it has the CC here and so we'll remove this paper so it has okay so it says made in France all right Okay, so some review, um, bag reviews I saw on YouTube, they're saying that, you know, try not to use this, like, I don't know, mini compartment here. Um, because if you stretch it, you know, it might ruin the bag. So just keep it as is. I actually put my oil control film here. I don't use this zipper, 
I don't use this compartment here. I just use the, the main compartment. So it has this one here. I actually put my um, card holder here. Again, you can put your receipts. It's all about receipts. Yeah, it's a very small, it's a very small um, compartment. So, but anyway, yeah, it fits my, it fits my keys, my um, card holder, and my inhaler. And I put my phone in here. Oh, let me get my phone and put it here. So this is an iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max. So I put it here. And I think that's the best place for the phone. So when I use this bag, I don't actually like do this. There, there, <laughs> but I don't do that. I just keep it as is like that, so it's easy. So when you, when you open this one, you can easily access your phone. But yeah, don't forget to, to close it. So it might actually like drop. So yeah, so that's my phone, iPhone 14 Pro Max. So it fits well. So uh, uh, Pro Max is the biggest iPhone. It will fit all kinds of phones. So don't worry. Okay, that's my phone there. Okay, so this is a close-up of the bag. So instead of the authenticity card, they are doing the microchip now. Again, this is the front pocket where I put my phone. And this is where I put my card holder and um, inhaler here. Whenever I use this bag, I still have a lot of space. And this is the back pocket. I told you I put my oil control film here. Again, I don't use this zipper. All right, there you go. Okay, so we'll do some mod shots. body like this again I'm five feet tall for reference so I'm wearing this crop sweater from Sheen this is from Valentino it's reversible so this is ivory and the other side is like light beige. I'm wearing pants from Aritzia. It's uh, I believe it's effortless pants. And that's it for my very first unboxing and bag review. I do hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. Again, it's Rosie Reyes. I do fitness and fashion videos. Bye, happy holidays. Hi, happy new year.